nice. Yeah, it looks good, yeah. Because it will be like maybe a meter more melt or so this summer. Yeah. And then obviously we don't want to get covered by snow in the winter, so sounds about right. Thank you, Neil. Yes. This year's been quite an unusual year. We had a lot of snow in the winter. The um, melt season was very delayed. Normally it starts the end of May, the beginning of June. And this year it didn't really get going until the middle of June. And this was the latest that we've seen on records going back to 1989. Um, we thought it would be quite a slow melt season. There maybe wouldn't be so much melt because there was quite a lot of snow this winter. But actually we had a, a very extreme melt over the last two or three weeks, more than we would normally have at this time of year. So it's gone from very slow, not very much melt at all, to really a lot of melt. People have been uh, canoeing on such rivers. Well, not this wild, uh, but yeah. Since 2000, we've had this trend where we've had more extreme melting, um, sometimes only for short periods, but that short period, if it happens in the middle of July or, or beginning of August, can be extremely significant for the, the whole ice sheet. So we can see a large amount of melt happening uh, during a short period of time, and that just changes the entire surface of the ice sheet. I would say that we have observations from satellites that show that the ice sheet in general is losing more ice every year than it is gaining. It is not in a, um, a state where it's going to grow, it's in a state where it's going to gradually shrink. If those rates continue and if those rates start to accelerate then we could see the ice sheet being lost. But it will still take hundreds of years if not thousands of years for the entire ice sheet to disappear. It's not just going to vanish overnight. <laughs> Yes, currently the um, the ice sheet is um, is getting smaller. Uh, so it's it's not just getting smaller because it's melting more, but also because it's flowing faster. And uh, uh, in these years, it's contributing this much every year to sea level rise. And then you, you think, well, this is not that much. But if you, if you have 10 years and all of a sudden it's that much, and then you get more global warming perhaps, and it, it goes faster and faster. And in general, people don't need to be concerned about the Greenland ice sheet because it will be around for a long time. But even if, uh, if one tenth of it would melt in the, in the following 100 years, then there will be huge cities, a very sh a large share of the, the population of the world that uh, will get in trouble because of this uh, sea level rise. So the, uh, the economical impact could be huge.